हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द लीनियर एलजेब्रा टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मोर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ द लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर गर वर्किंग द स्कूल ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स थापर इंस्टीट्यूट वट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज वी विल सी हाउ यू कैन फॉर्मुलेट द लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सच एज ऑफ दिस इफ यू हैव गिवन सम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मैपिंग्स आर देयर लाइक ऑफ दिस पॉलिनोमेल्स एंड मैनी मोर आर देयर हाउ यू कैन फॉर्मुलेट द लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन लाइक ऑफ दिस we will describe the three step rule that is a very simple are there for example firstly you have to construct the set s now the question arises is what is this s how you can know the value of the s for example if you consider about these three examples the set s corresponding to this example is considered as whatever the elements are mentioning here so there are the three elements so we can consider the s as 111 110 1, and 100 similarly corresponding to this problem the set s is consists of the 1 plus x 2 plus x and the x square is r by s similarly for here it is my 2 comma 3 1 comma 0 once you are defining the set s then we will apply the three step rule that is you have to prove that whatever the set you have formulated this is my li then second step is you have to show that this is my span and then finally we have to apply the linear transformation so this is the simplest way you can learn through this example how you can prove that whether it is a li are there so there are the two method i can tell you how you can check whether the vectors are li firstly you have to multiply this with the scalars alpha i if you prove that all of the alpha i are zero remember if all if all of the alpha i are zero then it is a ld if at least one of the alpha is a non zero then you can call as the ld linear dependent and the second method is you have to construct the matrix a which consists of the vector v1 v2 v3 and so on and if you find the determinant if it is a zero then it's a ld otherwise it's a l you can see these two examples uh, like how you can check about the span how you can check the li with the with the help of the several videos or you can see the help of the several examples are there you can see the four different methods are here you can find the channel name dr harikar playlist mathematics 2 where you can find all these text are there so let's see how you can find the linear transformation with the help of here so firstly you have to define the s you can see s is nothing but my here then your step number 1 and step number 2 is you have to prove s is li and s is here how you can prove that the first method you can now there are how many vectors are there there are the three vectors so you can consider as a three of the alpha i's such that whenever you multiply it becomes a zero and your target will be you have to prove that alpha 1 is 0 alpha 2 is 0 and alpha 3 is 0 if this satisfied it means s is my li so how you can prove that you can equate them you can see the first, this zero is nothing but my 0 comma 0 comma 0 you can equate the coefficients the first pair is my alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 are here. now from here can you solve this alpha 1 is 0 so from here you can see alpha 2 plus alpha 3 is 0 If you substitute alpha one here, you will get alpha two is zero. Once alpha two is zero, you can substitute here. You will get alpha three as a zero. So it means this is my L. Or the second method is you can construct the matrix A with such that this is one one one. Second vector is one one zero. This is a v one, v two, and v three. This is the matrix A. Now you can find the determinant of the A. What is that determinant of A? You can compute them. You will get as a one. and you can see this is a non zero once it is a non zero it means this is my li so you can choose any of the method now second one is that you have to show that is a span what you can do is whatever the domain of this the domain is r cube consider any of the elements say x y z r you can express this x y z elements in the form of the s that is alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3 now your target is to find the value of the alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3 in terms of x y or z if you are able to find the proper values of in terms of this then it's a span otherwise not again how you can do that you can compare the coefficients like this is the first pair there is alpha 1 and so on can you find the value of alpha 1 you can easily see z is nothing but my alpha 1 you can substitute here you can get the value of the alpha 2 as y minus z you can substitute here y so you can get alpha 3 is nothing but x minus y now you can see you can easily get the value of the alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3 therefore it is my span you can substitute this alpha 1 here alpha 2 and alpha 3 you will get it therefore it's a span 
once it satisfy both the properties now you can apply the linear transformation on the both side you will get here now since z is my constant so it can be taken outside because it is linear these values are given to you in the question you can substitute this value t of 1 1 1 is nothing but my 3 so this is my 3z what is a 1 1 t of 1 1 0 this is nothing but minus 4 x minus y of 2 so after the calculation you will get this is the required answer you can also check that whether your answer is correct or not you can satisfy this condition you can see what is the value of the t 1 1 1 so you can see it's a 2 minus 6 plus 7 so what is that this is nothing but 3 similarly you can check for the 1 1 0 1, and similarly you can check for the here if you get the same answers then it means it is a correct look at the next example are there again you have to firstly define the s now s is my here and your target is to be here how you can check that you can firstly uh, define the matrix a like of this what is the determinant of the a this is nothing but 1 it's a non zero it means s is my l what about the second method is since there are the two vectors now you can consider the alpha 1 and alpha 2 and so on so what is the coefficient of that this is alpha 1 is 0 and second is alpha 2 is 0 it means these are my l the domain is my r square you can consider any of the elements in the domain express this in terms of here now you can equate the coefficients this is alpha 1 and y is my 0 plus alpha 2. now you can easily find the value of alpha 1 as x alpha 2 is my you can substitute the value of alpha 1 and alpha 2 here hence it's a span now step number 3 you can take the transformation on the both side this is the transformation what is the value of the t 1 comma 0 it's a 1 comma 1 this is minus 1 comma 2 now you can uh, equate them this is my x this is my minus y first component and second half again you can check there whether uh, this is the required answer you can check that what is the 1 comma 0 this is 1 comma 1 and this is nothing but here is the right answer look at the another one are there again it is given to you that e1 e2 and e3 which are the nothing but the unit vector what is the unit vector of the r cube this is the unit vector of the r cube e1 e2 and e3 so if you substitute this value in here in here and here what you get you will get this value what is the e1 is 1 0 0 e1 plus e2 plus e3 if you add them you will get here your target is to find the in transformation image of this so again our target is to find the expression of this in in journal and then we can substitute this value as a x this as a y and this as a z now clearly says that this is i this form a basis why because you can see if you consider this as a matrix then what is the determinant of this this is a non zero it means the s is my l second thing you can consider any of the element here you can consider this as say alpha 1 this as a alpha 2 this as a alpha 3 and if you equate the coefficients you can get alpha 1 as a x alpha 2 as a y alpha 3 as a z so you can substitute this value here you will get the span of this now take the transformation on both side you can substitute this value as a 1 1 1 1 this value as a 0 1 1 and this value as here you will get this now you, you can add them you will get this uh, is a required linear transformation now in order to get this value you can substitute x is my 2 you can get y as a minus 1 z as a 3 you will get the required answer of this look at the another one are there this is the p3 what is the p3 this is a polynomial this is a polynomial of degree less than equal to 3 you can consider the s which is 1 plus s 2 plus x and the x square again your target is to show that whether s is li or here if you want to consider this as a matrix so you what you, what you can do that this is 1 plus so the first line is the coefficient of the x square then x then a constant so the first for the first vector is a 0 it's a 1 it's a 1 2 plus x is a 0 it's a 1 and it's a 2 x square coefficient of the x square is 1 0 and 0 now you can find the determinant of this what you get this is 2 minus 1 is 1 which is a non zero it means this is a l line what about the second method is now since there are the three vectors so you can consider the three alpha i and so on you can solve them now you can write this 0 as 0 x square plus 0 x plus 0 equate the coefficients you will get here since alpha 3 is 0 now you can solve these two values once you will solve this value you will get alpha 1 is 0 alpha 2 is 0 it means 
this is my L. How you can take them? You can take any of the polynomials from the domain that is a P3. So you can take as any of the elements are here. Now you can express this polynomial in terms of here. So I can instead of the alpha one, I consider here. Equate the coefficients. You can see this is my x cube. This is my x square coefficient. This is x and this is constant. And your target is to find the value of b1, b2, b3 here. Now you can see that b3 is easily be zero. You can easily get that uh, from these two equation. Once you will solve, you will get as a b1 and b2 are here. Now you have the b3, you have the b2, you have the b1. You can substitute here. You will get this span. Now take the transformation on the both side. This is the transformation given to you. Substitute this value as a one plus x. Substitute this value as x plus three x here. This value as a zero. And after the calculation, you will get the required polynomial. Look at the one more example are there. So again, this are there. Now this is my s. Again, your target is to show whether s is li or span. If you consider as a matrix, that's a two comma three. For the li, you you all know that determinant should be non-zero, and you can get that determinant is my minus three, which is a non-zero. It's a l. Otherwise, you can consider as a alpha one of two comma three plus alpha two of one comma zero is nothing but zero. So you can equate them. You can get as this is zero. Three alpha one is zero. So from here, you will get as a alpha one is zero. You will substitute here. You will get alpha two as zero. Again, it will give as a s is L. So you can choose any of the method. Choose any of elements from the domain is R square. So you can consider here. Your target is to find the value of alpha one and alpha two. From here, you can find the value of alpha one y by three. You can substitute here. You can get the value of alpha two. Substitute the value of alpha one and alpha two here. You will get the span of the R two. Now you can take the transformation on the both side. You can substitute this value as a four comma five. This value as a zero comma zero. You will get this as a required transformation. Again, you can check that what is the value of that t one comma zero. So this is y is equal to zero. So it's a zero comma zero. What is that two comma three? So y is my three. So it will be my four comma five. You can see both the answers are there. Look at the last example are here. What is the s? Now can you tell me what is the s is? Yes, this is my s. How you can show that? If you want to take the determinant, you can see the first vector. This is the second vector. So what is the determinant of a? This is 8 plus 15. That is a 23, which is a non-zero. So once it's a non-zero, it's a li. Or you can take an as a alpha one of 2 minus 5. Alpha 2 is 3 comma 4. Now you can equate the coefficient as here. Second one is here. Now after solving these two equations, you can see alpha one is zero, alpha two is zero. Again, it's a L. Take any of the elements from the domain, equate the coefficients. Now you can find the value of alpha one, alpha two. So since they are non-zero, you can get as a span. Now using this transformation, you can substitute this value as of here. So this value is my minus here. Now, since there are the three tuples, so you can take as the first component. First component, you will get as the required linear transformation. So this is the way you can solve the linear transformation problem in a very simple manner. We will see in next class how you can solve the other problems. Till then, you can simply follow this playlist, Mathematics Two, channel name Dr. Harish Garg. Best of luck, students. Happy learning.